So we're going to move on and, and we're going to get to some gradually more difficult problems. Okay, these first two problems have been pretty easy. You could probably do them in your head. And now we're going to start to get to some problems that probably can't do in your head so easily and that you're probably going to need to use the algebra for. But it's the same exact skills. So let's go ahead and do that. Next problem. Marie is 12 years older than Sally. Okay, nine years ago, Marie was twice as old as Sally. And we want to find their ages. Okay, so this is a good example of a problem that, at least for me, I can't do in my head. I, I, I just I get too confused reading these kinds of problems to, to sit there and think about uh, what happened nine years ago versus today. And that's the honest truth. So I myself have to use algebra to solve these problems. So we'll read it one more time and then we'll go ahead and do that. Marie is 12 years older than Sally, but nine years ago, Marie was twice as old as Sally. Okay, find their present ages. Okay. So what we have here is we have a problem with uh, two people, and it's asking us to find two ages. As you can look at the last sentence, find their present ages, okay? So that means I have to find out how old Marie is today and how old Sally is today. So I'm going to have two variables, okay? Not just one variable like before, but two different, two different ages I'm trying to solve for, okay? So we're going to say Marie, uh, the variable for Marie, we're just going to use a big M. And for Sally, we're going to use a big uh, S. So M is the age of Marie, and S is the age of Sally. Always write down the variables that you're using so you never forget. Now let's begin to translate this word problem into equations. Marie is 12 years older than Sally. Okay. So what that would mean is Marie is, which means equals, 12 years older than Sally. Okay, now see if you can wrap your brain around that and make sure you agree with that, okay? Uh, never, by the way, never trust what I write on the board. Make sure you understand it, okay? Marie is 12 years older than Sally. You take Sally's age, add 12 years to it, and that's what Marie's age is. That's the translation of the first sentence, okay? Now here's the one that's really tough, I think. Nine years ago, Marie was twice as old as Sally, okay? So I'm going to want to write down how you would translate this, and then we'll talk about it and make sure that you agree. Okay? This is all talking about what happened nine years ago. Okay? So, so you know that you have to involve the number nine somehow in this. Okay? Think of it this way. Nine years ago, I'm putting parentheses around it to show you that this is kind of, in my head, this is kind of a unit. This is Marie's age minus nine. Nine years ago, okay, uh, Marie was twice as old as Sally. Now. Bear with me, I'm going to write this down and I'm going to show you what, what this means. See if this makes sense to you. Nine years ago, now, first thing you have to realize is that when you're talking about nine years ago with two people, both people were nine years younger, okay? It's not that Marie was nine years younger and, and then Sally somehow wasn't nine years younger. If I have you know, a younger sister and when, when I talk about something that happened seven years ago, both of us were seven years younger, okay? So this equation has to reflect that. Marie is nine years younger and Sally is nine years younger. So when nine years ago happened, both of us were nine years younger, okay? So knowing that, nine years ago, both of us were nine years younger, Marie, Marie's age nine years ago was twice as old as Sally's age nine years ago. Okay, that's basically what that's saying, okay? Nine years ago, whatever Sally's age was nine years ago, okay? Multiply it by two, that was Marie's age, but nine years ago. Okay, so see if you can wrap your brain around that. You'll, you'll get to use this, this kind of form a lot. Okay, so now we have two equations. The first equation and the second equation. We have two unknowns. Two equations, two unknowns. We've got enough information to solve this problem. Okay, so we have this equation already solved for M, so we're just going to plug it in. Okay, so the first thing we want to do before we actually plug it in is uh, just go ahead and distribute this 2 in. 2s minus 18. 2 times s is 2s. 2 times negative 9 is negative 18. This is the same equation. We just multiplied it out, uh, you know, just begin to simplify it so that we can solve the problem. Now let's take this equation that has solved for m already, Marie's age, and plug it in here. So it's s plus 12 minus 9, okay, is equal to 2s minus 18. The only thing we've done here is we've taken this equation, we've taken this, and we've plugged it in. S plus 12 goes in M's place, okay? And now we begin to solve for S, okay? Well, let's take it one step at a time. S plus uh, 12 minus 9 
would be 3 is equal to 2s minus 18. Okay, we'll just add the numbers here. Okay, now we want to move s to one side, and we want to take this 3 and move it to the other side so that I can begin to solve for s. But again, one step at a time, let's move s over here. Okay, so it's going to be s minus 2s, because I'm subtracting 2s from both sides. I'm going to leave the 3 alone for now. Uh, the 2s disappears. 2s minus 2s is 0. Uh, is equal to negative 18. So what's going on here is uh, s plus 3. I subtract 2s uh, from both sides. So I subtract 2s from this side. 2s drops out on the other side. 2s minus 2s is 0. You leave your negative 18 alone. All I did was subtract 2s from both sides. Okay. Uh, so then when you add this up, you get negative s plus 3 is equal to negative 18. All I did was add the s's together. s minus 2s is negative s. Now we want to move this 3 over. So negative s is equal to negative 18 minus 3. Okay. 3 minus 3 is 0 because I'm subtracting 3. 18, uh, negative 18 uh, minus 3 is what we have here. So negative s is equal to uh, negative 21, 18 minus 3 is negative 21, okay? And then to finally solve for s, you're just going to divide both sides by negative 1. So gets it, uh, the negative 1 drops on the left because you're dividing it by negative 1, and on the right you're just going to have 21. So Sally's age was 21. That's what we found out uh, with these two equations that we had defined up here. So how do you find Marie's age? You just plug it back into the, the equation that we wrote for Marie's age. So Marie is equal to Sally plus 12. So Marie is equal to uh, Sally's age was 21 plus 12. So Marie uh, is going to equal uh, 21 plus 12, 31, 32, 33. So 33 years old. So what we have here is Sally's age is 21. Marie's age is 23, and I don't know about you, but there's no way I could have done this in my head without writing these two equations down. So it's the same thing as always. You write your first two, your two equations that you need to solve for these two variables, and then after that, it's just the math that you hopefully by now are getting practice with solving two equations and two unknowns. Take one and plug it into the other for some variable. Solve for the remaining variable, and take that and plug it back into one of your two equations and find the, uh, the other variable.